chord formulas and construction. Now's the fun part. We're going to learn how to make chords. Now that you know major scales, I'm going to show you some formulas for a major chord and a minor chord, and then you're going to be able to form major and minor chords. Or more importantly, you're going to understand how these chords are formed. Um, so let's start off with, first of all, the major chord formula. The major chord formula is simply one, three, five. And what that means is we're going to take the first, the third, and the fifth degrees of any major scale, play them together, and we have a major chord. So let's start with an easy one, C major. C is 1, C, D, E is 3, F, G is 5. C, E, and G. Those are the three notes that make up a C major chord. Let's check it out and test it. Here's a C major chord that you've learned before. We have notes C, E, open G string, C again, and then open E string. That's your C major chord. Let's try an A major chord. A major uh, had three sharps and F, C's, and G's. So the one is A, B, C sharp was the third, D, E was the fifth. A, C sharp and E. Let's see if we got that in the chord. Let's check it out. There's the A chord we learned. We have A, we have E, we have A again, we have C sharp. It doesn't have to always be in that order. As long as you have those three notes combined together, it's an A major chord. And you're going to learn in the coming lesson, it's also going to be notes of an arpeggio. So if I take any major scale and just take the first, the third, and the fifth notes, I have the notes that make up that major chord. Now let's go to the next one, a minor chord. Now the minor chord formula is one flat three five. So what that means is I have to take the first degree, I have to take the third degree and flat it. So I make it one half step lower, and then I take the fifth degree. So in this case, uh, let me show you with the A. We just did, because this is an easy one to show you with. The A, the C sharp we said was the third. So for me to make a minor one, we have to take that third degree and make it from C sharp, a half step down would be C. So it would have to be A, C, and E. So here's the A major chord we had. There was the C sharp note. I gotta make it into a C, and that makes it an A minor chord. You know this chord as well. That's the A minor. Major had the happy sound, remember? has a sad sound. Let's take it with uh, E for an, another example. In E, first it's E, F sharp, G sharp would be the third, A, B. So B is the fifth, uh, G sharp is the, is the third. That's the one we have to flat. So there's your G sharp, make it a G. That's one half step lower. So this is E major, this is E minor. All I'm doing is taking that third degree note and flatting it from an E, a G sharp here to a G. The A major to the A minor. If I want to do a D, what's the third degree of D? D, E, F sharp. So when I have a D major chord, I have the F sharp note on the first string. Make that F sharp to an F, and have a D minor chord. So it's pretty simple when you start breaking it down in that perspective. That's why it's so important to know those major scales from the beginning. You know the major scale, and then you know all seven notes that make up that key. Now we start isolating certain notes or altering certain notes, and we have a major chord by taking the one, three, and five, the first, third, and fifth degrees, or one flat three and five, the first, third degree flat and fifth degree for a minor chord. So there you go, your first two chord formulas, the major chord and the minor chord.